So in this video, I'm going to give you some reasons why you might want to consider ditching your pick. So a lot of my favourite guitar players typically don't use picks that often. I'm thinking players like Chris Buck, Joey Landreth, Derek Trucks to name but a few and they're either completely disregarding a pick or they're using some kind of hybrid application where they're using their pick alongside their fingers and all of these guitar players for me have something very much in common. I would define all of these players as being highly expressive in their phrasing and in their general approach to playing the guitar. So today we're going to unpack that a little bit. I'm going to give you some tips on how you can really start to comfortably incorporate a pickless approach in your playing to get you a little bit closer to that expressive quality that those guitar players have. So the first reason to not use a pick is because picks cost money and your fingers are free. So it's always a good idea to just kind of practice with what you have. It's a really good approach to avoid the limitations in practicing. You know, if you can't find a pick because, man, I lose mine all the time, it can't necessarily then be an excuse not to play the guitar. So I typically, when I'm playing at home, I will often not use a pick and I will just, you know, play with my fingers. And I just absolutely love the tone of that. So how do we characterize that tone? Well, for me, playing with your fingers as opposed to a pick, I think makes the guitar sound a lot warmer. And obviously this is a, a preference depending on the type of music that you play. I typically play a lot of blues, Americana, some soft rock and maybe some acoustic music alongside you know, a singer songwriter or something like that. So I'm not playing a lot of music that is very loud and very sort of like dynamically in your face. There's often a lot of space in the music that I play. And that type of music lends itself so well to this expressive idea of playing with your fingers. Picks are typically a little bit pokier in their sound and I don't feel, at least from the perspective where I'm sitting, I don't feel like playing with a pick gives you the full dynamic range of the instrument. So if I play the same lick with a pick and without, you'll hopefully be able to hear the difference. I love that roundness of the tone that you get from playing without a pick. And obviously it completely depends on the situation. There are going to be times where you'll want to use a pick and there'll be times where you maybe want to sit back a little bit and playing without a pick might give you a more pleasing tone. And one thing I noticed then when I was playing that phrase is when I was playing without a pick, I felt like I had more kind of tactile control of the guitar. Now, when you're playing with a pick, especially if you're kind of learning or you're maybe just kind of getting into the point of being an intermediate guitar player, sometimes there is a bit of a disconnect between your hand and the string because you're not necessarily touching the string with you know your, your actual hand or your fingers the pick is kind of acting as a barrier so you you start to learn obviously where the distances are between your strings but it's sometimes hard to, to kind of feel like you have that very tactile approach whereas if you play without your pick you can feel the strings under your fingers and that definitely changes the way that you play and I am a big advocate of practicing 
playing without a pick if you are maybe in a bit of a musical rut because it will bring differences into your playing. This tactile control just means that you're able to phrase a little bit differently. I think the best way to characterize it is that you get like a lot more pop off the string when playing with your fingers. So if you're playing something that's kind of like a pentatonic -y blues lick, you can really kind of dig in and you can accentuate certain notes and you can, you know, just start to have a bit more control of like that tactile element of playing the guitar. Because of that variation in tone that you can achieve by playing with your fingers, it actually increases the dynamic range of the instrument, especially if you're adopting a hybrid approach where you're maybe utilizing your fingers along with a pick. Now, this is something that especially Chris Buck will often do, and Joey Landreth as well will be able to transition, you know, even mid solo or mid song between using a, a pick and using fingers. And that just means that you're able to expand the range of the instrument. If you blend that softness of fingers playing something fairly quiet, and then transition to a pick, and I don't even have any gain or you know any distortion on my tone, it's completely clean, but even just in that transition, you're getting a lot more out of the guitar. So if you're looking to start playing without a pick, I'm just gonna give you a couple of quick tips that can help you approach the guitar in this new way in terms of how you should approach actually attacking the strings and how you can adapt to learn this kind of hybrid approach of using your pick along with your fingers. So firstly, you wanna be using a combination of your thumb and your fingers and you can use one, two, three, however many you are comfortable with and you can definitely build this up as, as time goes on. But I will typically use my thumb to do any kind of like downstrokes. And then if I wanna pop that next note, like I was talking about in that phrase that I played earlier, if you wanna really kind of get the most out of the string, that's when I'll use my finger to sort of pluck upwards. So it's kind of the same as doing a sort of down up pattern with a pick, but we're just not using a pick. And you'll notice then that you get far more expression out of your sound. So I need to get a bit closer to show you this, but in terms of concealing your pick to adopt this kind of like hybrid approach, the way that I tend to do this is I want to kind of free up my fingers that are sort of like my most dominant fingers, which for me are my thumb, my index finger, and my middle finger, mostly. I occasionally use my ring finger, but not very often. And what I want to do is I want to conceal the pick, normally just under my little finger or under my, my ring finger as well. Because then when I'm playing, it still leaves my other digits open, so I can still play. And here's the bit to, to sort of really practice, is how you sort of like quickly transition from having your pick concealed to being able to... to be able to access it when you need to. It's a tricky one but it's very rewarding when you get it right. So just a few things to think about there. If you are looking to incorporate a slightly different sound into your playing, I absolutely love the sound of playing with my fingers. It is, like I said, very, very expressive, increases the dynamic range of the guitar, and tonally just has a sound that I absolutely love. So I encourage you to give it a go. If you did enjoy this video, do let me know down in the comments below. Always love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, do consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell if you found this video helpful. Really, really helps me out. Costs nothing, absolutely free to hit that button. It's right there, just down a little bit further. And like I said, really helps support the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys 
in the next video.